Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem 7 for the Game Boy Advance. In the last episode we beat a whole bunch of bandits that uh, destroyed a town it seems and we made a new friend who is a uh, actually not made a new one but we ha got a new comrade who was a friend of Lin and is a Pegasus Rider. She's not the best fighter but in terms of getting places she's the best. So she's better for, um, movement instead of actual combat. After defeating the bandits, Lin continues westward. She and her colleagues stop for the night at- Yep, this is the one I was talking about. The Ganelon bandits are in a rage after their brethren fell to Lin's swords. They race to pursuit in the pursuit of the companions, their angry footsteps closer and closer. That is not good. Hello? What is this woman? Ah, this should suffice. Tonight's bed. This mildly old fortress, is this the best we can do? Come, Will. Surely you jest. The bandits keep everything in turmoil around here. No one has time to worry about travelers. And there are rather a lot of us. This will be fine. Who wants to be stuck inside anyway? I prefer a place where I can feel the wind blow. As long as I'm at Lin's side, I'll be fine. And for your protection, your man-at-arms, Sane, will be right here by your side, ladies. Sane, both of you and I will remain awake. We will alternate the watch. Ah, alas. Who's that woman? You're part of- I wish we could see a sprite for your character. It, it, it would be so awesome for that to happen. Your pardon, milady. Who's there? I- Forgive my intrusion. My name is Natalie. I'm from a village not far from here. I have a friend named Natalie. She is an amazing, very nice person. Ah! Ow! Are you alright? Hmm. Your leg. It's fine, don't worry. It's from a childhood sickness. I can't travel far on it, but it doesn't trouble me much. What are you doing here by all, all by yourself? I'm looking for my husband. I heard he was in this area. He said he's going to raise some money to have my leg mended. He left the village and has not returned. He's a kind-hearted man, but I think he might be involved in something dangerous. Pardon that, I didn't need to get a pop filter for that. I got so worried. Here's a sketch of him. It's a poor likeliness at best, but his name is Dorcas. He's like a Dorcas or Sorry, I'm reiterating myself a little. <clears throat> oh, Ugh. all right, better. I see. If you do ple meet him, please give him this message. Tell him that Natalie's Natalie ah, 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 looking for him. I'll tell him, I promise. Oh, great. <laughs> well, there's the person we're looking for. Here they are. We finally tracked down the band that defeated Miguel. So they decided to hold up in this ruined fortress. Perfect. We'll wait till it gets dark and then... You're an idiot. There are only a few of them, and some are women. If we attacked them at night, I'd be a laughing stock. Besides, we might hurt the women by mistake. I will not be so wasteful. I never- I, I still don't understand why they're against attacking the women. If they find them to be such a waste, or like something they can sell, why don't they just kill- I, I, I don't know. I am very against the sexism here. It seems like sexism is sexism is a, is like a symbol here. You're right, Karjiga. You're so smart. We'll avenge me go and get the some pretty souvenirs to boot. Oh, I see. Who knows? Maybe I'll be a leader after all. Ha ha ha. Let's go. No, you're gonna die. Spread out and circle the place, you rogues. Let's finish this before it gets dark. Too dark to see. Oh God. Huh? Who could that be? Hey, you. Your name's Dorcas, right? Oh, great. You haven't done you haven't done much since you joined us. If those weapons aren't just for show, today's the day to sh let us see what you can do. I want you to attack from back to the east. There's supposed to be a woman inside. I want you to capture her. Do that, and I'll increase your share of the take. If you want gold, you'll get the job done. A bunch of women, huh? It'd break Natalie's sweet heart to see me sink so low. What if that woman you're trying to capture is Natalie? Hmm. Lady Lindis, outside the fortress. Bandits. What'd you say? Persistent bunts, aren't they? 
I almost want a curse here, like they do in Final Fantasy, but I think this game is too dignified for that. What do you think? Shall we go out and face them? No, Natalie cannot move, at that, and that would put her in danger. My god, let... Ah, it's been five minutes and no fighting. In this chapter, your goal is to protect Natalie. Keep her safe for seven turns. Uh, Kenny, Natalie, and other green units are called NPCs. Kenneth is actually an NPC. NPCs are not enemies, but they cannot be moved or given orders. Sometimes green units will be attacked because they are on the field of combat. Wait, does that mean Kenneth? Does that does that mean Kenneth can get attacked? Oh, never mind. What he literally went into her. What the heck is that? All right, let's just wait. Uh, let's attack some besteds. Center our defenses around the door. I am! I am, you bastard. You, you stupid little thing. Alright. Uh, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have Will out right here so that he can shoot someone or something. We're gonna have, um, the Pegasus Rider in here, uh, ready to protect... Uh, to protect Natalie. Oh, get wrecked. Ooh, he does a lot of damage, doesn't he? I should be glad I didn't get hit by that. Oh, no, why are you wearing your freaking spear? Oh, wow, you're dealing a lot of damage, though, dude. I thought they had their swords equipped. Oh, great, a freaking broken wall. Fantastic. Oh, he's got a sword. Wow, and he's dealing a crap load of damage, isn't he? What a fail. That just shows you that Sane is so much better at attacking. Even though... Well, he's not better at attacking, exactly. He, in terms of brute strength, he's the better one. I know, okay, I can talk to certain people! You, tell me, you are Dorcas. How do you know my name? Natalie told me. What are you doing with these rogues? I need money. That may be, but joining up with mercenaries? It's the only way to earn gold in these parts. I'll do anything, even this. Or is this Together We Ride? I can't I can't remember which song. I'll have to look it up on YouTube. For gold, anything. Would you hurt your wife? Natalie is here. We're protecting her within this fortress. What? Natalie's she's here? She was so worried that she came looking for you. Think, Dorcas. Thank you, dork. What would your actions please your wife? You're right. Well, I understand. I can't do this. I'm done with these bandits here and now. Really? Yes. And I will repay you for your kindness towards Natalie. Allow me to fight for you. And all of a sudden, he turns blue. Great. The weapon Dorks is wielding is called a hand axe. Use it to attack an adjacent opponent, or throw it it in direct. Blah, blah. Throw it in indirect combat in the manner of a bow. This is this versatility makes it a very valuable weapon. It's difficult to hit with though, so don't rely on it too much. Oh wow, that really is a versatile weapon, isn't it? Oh, it is. It it doesn't. It does hit pretty badly. All right. Eh, nice crit. <laughs> nice job. I finally have seen Dorcas deal a critical hit. And I got an Iron Axe. Awesome. So, I'm keeping it the way it is. 13. Alright, 100% hit rate. We'll kill the guy. Speed up buttons are the best thing. 9s, 9s, 70s. Oh, you can't freaking. For God's sake, man. You suck. Do I really want to put her in the middle of that? She's gonna die if I do that. Um, maybe I'll put her. Oh, I can't put her against the wall. <laughs> that would be funny if I could, though. To be fair. And eh, no. Good job. Good job, Kent. I don't know why he's not attacking a bunch of times. He should be. Ha! Two hits. Sane is the stronger warrior in terms of brute force, but I think in terms of... Usually the high... Uh, I think Sane just has a higher skill... Uh, 
Kent has a higher skill level, therefore I think it's easier for him to actually attack, like, more times. What are you waiting for? She's just a child and a girl. Grr, more men up here now! I feel like I'm gonna get overwhelmed. Ugh, gross. Iron sword on you. Yes. Get out of here. It's really cool how the horse actually dodges the attack. That's really cool. Uh, darn, I was hoping for- well, the skill raise is pretty useful, but I was hoping for a strength boost. But it's no huge big- it's no- no big problem. Uh, I'll just keep the iron sword. Okay, just an HP increase. I- I really freaking wish there was more to that. Alright. Do 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 Ow. Remind me to use a vulnerary. Pretty praise. Ow. God, I freaking love his high attack rate. And... Wait, why didn't he move? Alright, that's it. Will, take care of this bastard. I was hoping for more of a critical hit. But whatever. Oh, he, of course now he levels up. Alright, strength, that's good, that's good, that's, he, he really does, did kind of need that, to be fair. Oh boy, uh... Um, die. Alright, we're done, with this dude at least. How many turns do I have to keep her? Oh god, I'm not even halfway through this and we're already freaking halfway through the darn video. Great! <laughs> this is just great for me. Hello, would you like to attack a woman, sir? Um... Oh, now you get to attack twice. Now of all the times. Great. Ugh. I said I was going to use a vulnerary. Why haven't I done that yet? Ooh, nice dodge. And you hit him. And killed him, too. Do, do, do. If I can please get, uh, can I, if I can please just do, do a video without being interrupted, I'll be, like, super happy. Ooh, I might have landed myself in a pretty bad spot. Ooh, I think I've landed myself in a very bad spot. Um, use the vulnerary, please. I don't want you dying on me, okay? We're not having any of that. Ah! Um, how do I want to do this? Maybe I can have... Uh, oh. This is very bad. Very, very bad. Manny Caddy, Iron Sword, just do it. It's a 100% hit rate, so there's no deal, there's no big problem there. Iron Sword, third, wow. Okay. Hello, would you like to die? Hello. Take nine damage. Uh, this is this is actually pretty annoying. I really love this. I really love the way they structured this game in terms of strategy. I love it a lot. I really, really do. Um. All right. This will be okay. Nope. Of course not. Never rely on a on a hand axe when dealing with a swordsman. I have learned that here and now. And that was okay, in terms of damage amounts. <laughs> Prepare to day. Ooh, that was a good boost. She never gets defense boost, and we kind of sort of needed that.
All right. All right. This is getting a getting to be a bit much. I'll be very honest in saying. Uh. <laughs> Sane. Um. Oh, this guy's got 20 hit points. So let's deal with him first. Oh no 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 no! We are gonna do this. And get out of here. I wish level ups uh, increased your hit points. Oh, how I wish they did. Oh no! Ah. Fine, I'll do this. I'll make them switch places. Do, 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 and get at. All right, this is getting pretty good. I like one. I like the uh, the um, missions where you don't really have a set amount of enemies. You just have a set amount of time to kill, uh, an uh, assuming assumingly an unlimited amount of enemies. Uh. This guy has like three hit points, so we might as well take care of him, right? And you. Alright. Yeah, we're fine here. Do do do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last turn. Ten twice, might as well. Or not. <laughs> I love her critting. Oh my god. Um I really what I really want to do is get at get at that guy over there. I really wish I could, but uh I can't. I kind I kinda wish I was paying attention to him doing that earlier. Oh, wow. I honestly, I honestly did not see that coming. All right, we're done. Curses! They're not human. Listen up, rogues. Retreat. Pull back. The enemies fled. Kenneth, we've won. Dorcas, I'm sorry, Natalie. All's well that ends well, right, Natalie? Ah, yes. Our village is close. I'll take Natalie home and return tomorrow. Hmm. Why can't we just say our farewells today? Well, I spoke with Kenneth. I, I've been invited to join your group. Are we going- but we're going to Lichia. I have to go somewhere to earn money. I don't think that was a full combo, I think I accidentally pressed the B button. Things have finally calmed down. We'll continue taking turns keeping watch. Please rest easily. Is that alright? Are you sure, Sane? Oh, uh, yes, of course. Let me warn you. If bandits sneak up on you, they'll cut you down without mercy. Do you understand that? What, do you doubt my bravery? I'm- am I not a knight? There's no need to worry. Right, Kent? If there's anything suspicious, we will take care of it. Rest assured. Really? Well, good night then. See you tomorrow, Kenneth. Yeah, yeah, madam. Let's go. Poor guy. <laughs> uh, next morning comes too quickly. Lint- <laughs> Like reading so fast. Lynn has fought back the bandits' attack. Now she rushes for the border of Burn. If she reach it, if she can reach it, Lichia itself is not far. For a moment, Lynn stops to imagine the face of her grandfather she's never seen. And with that, we're gonna end this off here. In the next episode, we will go through Chapter Five, Beyond the Borders, and we will see you then.